All right. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday night. November 24th, 2024 is the date. About 10, 10 p.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity shows a 4.5 earthquake coming into the Taiwan area. Also, it uh, looks like a 1.4 into the California region. Let's go ahead and start off here in California where we're lighting up in the last hour. Uh, nothing above the 2.5 level yet, but a uh, noticeable increase here in the earthquakes around Bakersfield area. Uh, along this area where the um, Garlock Fault shear zone and the plate boundary interchange here. A couple smaller earthquakes crossing uh, across that point there. So, you know, uh, nothing big going on here for now, but still um, got to watch that. You know, this thing is pretty uh, fairly well sprung up, so to speak, in terms of pressure out here across the plate boundary. Anything at any time could trigger that big one. So mostly smaller microquake activity out there. Fairly quiet across Northern California. Not a whole lot stirring up out here across the Cascadia for now. Uh, let's go check out the trimmer map here tonight. See if we have anything uh, in trimmer, which is zero. Nada. So that makes literally probably about four to five days here of no trimmer activity along the Cascadia for now. Uh, some minimal movement looks like across the rest of the country. Some oil fields getting hit out there around Texas and Oklahoma. And one lonesome earthquake here outside of the Alliance area of Ohio, 1.8, about six miles deep or so. Very small earthquake. Uh, it has been reviewed, so it looks like that's going to be a legit earthquake. Uh, this area of Ohio, uh, they've, they've seen some earthquake activity out here historically, um, but that one-pointer struck out in a out in a zone that uh, is really not all that set up there for some earthquake activity, but uh, occasionally we'll see a, a couple microquakes or so hitting that area. <coughs> all right, moving on here across the uh, world. Let's see what else we got here across the region as we uh, look at the USGS map. It's just going to grab me a cough drop right here just in case. I can feel an itch coming on here. It never fails. Uh, let's see if we got anything big going on here. Across the rest of the model. Looks pretty quiet for the most part. Well, thank you, babe. Uh, Missy Mimi's here. Brought me uh, a bottle of water. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Much better. Very helpful. Uh, across the rest of the globe here, let's go ahead and see what we got here across the area of Taiwan, where the latest 4.5 is coming in. Quite a few 4s clustering in this area, <coughs> but, uh, you know, I, <clears throat> I've barely coughed here in the last few hours, and all of a sudden I get on the, uh, the live stream here, and it's just coughing away. Weird. It's moving outside the Himala uh, Himalayas, it looks like. Some fours and threes. Actually, a pretty good cluster going on here. Uh, USGS not really reporting anything around this area, but uh, it is a super dynamic area in terms of plate stress and plate boundaries. And uh, stirring up pretty nicely there across that area. Uh, so we'll continue to watch that. That's a little hot spot area right now. Overall, you can pretty much draw a U shape here of intensifying earthquake activity in the last, I'd say the last 12 hours. A lot of white rings here indicating that newer uh, earthquake activity. So we'll watch this little hot spot movement area right now. Uh, New Zealand area and down across the uh, rest of the plate boundary. Older activity here from last night and early this morning. So not a whole lot of newer movement there for now. Uh, a little 4.5 into the Izu Trench. The Aleutian Trench, pretty quiet. Some older activity there from last night. Um, let's see what we got. A couple quakes up there around Alaska right now. Uh, nothing big. One earthquake outside of Anchorage here, a little 3.3 .3 this afternoon. Uh, but aside from that, as you can see, microquake activity stirring up out there today. Middle America Trench there, pancake of activity. Uh, stirring up there off the coast of, uh, looks like down off the, uh, maybe the Guatemala area, southern Mexico. Got one earthquake here showing up 
on the map, 78 miles deeper for that four-pointer. Uh, but there's quite a bit, a little bit of swarming going on here across this area of the plate boundary. Some deeper activity here, uh, the southern end of the uh, Caribbean plate. A lot of older activity, though, it looks like. Uh, some smaller, newer quakes. There's that deep quake there underneath the, uh, let's see where that's going to be, Columbia area. This one right here, 92 miles deep. Puerto Rico Trench. They were swarming earlier. Let's see what we got here from the USGS map uh, in terms of newer activity. Looks like um, yeah, we've seen a couple more twos and threes out there bouncing back and forth here between the uh, Mariotos Trough, which, which is right here, uh, and then also some activity up around the Puerto Rico Trench region uh, over the last seven days. Seen a, a number of swarms out here across this area and down across the southwestern edge of Puerto Rico indicating uh, you know some heavily strained stress out here on this area of the plate boundary uh, but for now uh, staying pretty consistent we'll continue to watch that the Mediterranean twos and threes out there nothing major uh, going on across the area for now and uh, Hawaii looks a little quiet out there let's take a look here from the USGS map uh, mostly deeper earthquake movements there underneath the Pahala area. Nothing major change in there across the uh, Kilauea volcano for now. A quick glance here at the space weather activity. Starting to uh, see a little bit of escalation here in the C flare category. Even jumping up into the M flare class here in the last few hours. Looks like uh, we have a couple different sunspots out there that are actively... Uh, flaring got this region down here also an active area out in the western limb that's uh, pretty much out of sight out of mind and a couple newer areas far side on the eastern side of the sun that we'll have to watch in the coming days right now i think the main threat's going to be this area right here 3906 3905 uh, two individual sunspots uh, of course close proximity uh, and magnetically unstable is going to be this area down here of the two. Uh, so this area probably uh, going to be a little bit more potential for some stronger flaring. Uh, we'll have to watch this one, see if we can't get some intermixing of some colors here, which would uh, uh, further amplify the uh, potential there from this sunspot. But for now, watch this area. Uh, got a region up here on the northeastern quadrant as well, but... Uh, I think the main threat is going to be 3906 down here. Uh, and that sunspot harbors a beta, gamma, delta, and it shows that it's growing. So these two, 3905, 3906, uh, the most potential there, showing uh, some stronger flaring here. And the days ahead, 15% chance there for that X flare probability. Uh, let's see what we got here for any uh, major storms going on here. Supposed to get a little bit of rainfall out here in California tonight, but it looks like it's missing us. Um, you know, probably after seven and a half inches of rainfall, uh, you know, we could we could we could get a, a few days of a break, I guess. You know, let it dry up a little bit. Uh, this rainfall event here across the West Coast mainly looks like it's going to hit Southern California um, and bring them some snow and rain, roughly about Bakersfield area northward. Uh, not so much down further south here, but uh, I'm sure those folks will take anything they can get. After that, we've got a lot of colder air dipping down into the uh, majority of the half of the eastern half of the country here. A lot of colder air coming in. Uh, for Thanksgiving, looks like on Thanksgiving night, that's going to be roughly about here. Uh, mainly clear conditions out here across a good portion of the country. We'll have some wet weather out there across the southeast and as you can see here across the eastern seaboard, but really nothing of any major uh, travel issues as far as I can see here. No major snow uh, the following day. It looks like there's a little bit of snow around the Great Lakes and over here across the northern plains, but uh, you know, it should be pretty smooth there for travel uh, for the Thanksgiving holiday as we head into the weekend there. There's that massive cool spell all across the eastern portion of the country goodness they're getting a, a big taste of winter uh, and there may be some systems there as we head into the second week of december across florida uh, keep looking for california here goodness um, i don't like the pattern i'm seeing let me 
me bring up a different region here. Let's see what we got. Why are we getting dry weather? So here's Monday, 25th. There's low pressure offshore, but not a whole lot of moisture associated with it. Um, high pressure is going to build back in. There's that massive low pressure um, setting in across the eastern portion of the country. High pressure looks to be building up there across the Pacific Northwest. That's not good. Um, wow. I'm hoping that goes away there, but it's parked over the region there of the Pacific Northwest for um, looks like maybe the next two weeks or so. Low pressure, of course, on the east and then on the back side here of the high pressure system. So we need this we need this out of the way hopefully it it uh moves soon enough here because i'm not uh not a fan of the dry boring weather i know a lot of people like it but i'm a weather guy i want active conditions here and um i don't like that all right uh what else is there folks um seismograph station is pretty quiet one little earthquake there on Dinsmore, maybe one on China Lake as well. But those are super duper small earthquakes. Not a whole lot going on. So, yeah, mainly, mainly uh, just some microquake activity out here. A lot of these quakes here popping up within minutes of each other. So, we do, you know, we are getting a little bit of adjustment down here, but uh, nothing of any felt earthquakes. But there's still earthquakes nonetheless, right? So we've got five of them showing up here. Um, literally within the last, well, the first one looks like 2203. So in the last 20 minutes here, five earthquakes across this area of Southern California. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a, a wonderful Sunday night. Yes, we got Monday coming up here. Um, very soon so i'm gonna call it uh i'm gonna call it a night hope everyone uh enjoys the start of the work week tomorrow uh stay safe out there and just keep a positive mindset here folks got a lot going on here in the world but i uh, gotta keep it positive we'll see you guys back out here in the morning sometime have a good night everyone stay safe